My name is Susan. A lot of you know me from hanging out in the library. I've already visited some of your classes. Um, I've already visited Professor Vidikian's several times. You're probably sick of seeing me at this point. Um, I'm here to talk to you more about um, some of the resources that the library has to support what um, we do here at Bristol Community College. It's not just to get your classes to get a degree, but to give you the support that you need to actually get out in the workforce. Um, so just to start off, here's the main BCC website. I'm going to show you what I think is probably the most important link on the whole entire BCC website. And that's right up here at the top, my library. And from here we can go right, and we can search for books. We have quite a collection just down in the New Bedford campus right here. You can see I brought a small portion of what I already have on my shelves. We're also connected to the Sales Library Network which is about 60 to 70 southeastern Massachusetts libraries, a local one near you. And we can search all of those and get those books here for you at the New Bedford campus. What's really neat about checking out materials with your BCC ID versus your public library card is that you get to keep the materials for at least 30 days and with the possibility of renewing it. So potentially you can keep your book and materials for up to two months to help you brush up your resumes, look up how some cover letter skills, that sort of thing. So again, if I just wanted to type in cover letters, let's see. I've got over 500 results. And it's just as simple, you can see the libraries are Halifax and Rainham. You don't need to drive all the way up there to get those books. You're just going to do what we call place a hold. It'll prompt you for your 2277 number that's on the back of your BCC ID and your PIN, which is the last four digits of your phone number. If you got your student ID in Fall River, you physically need to go into the library to fill out a little blue card to be able to access all of this. However, if you did get your IDs in Attleboro or New Bedford, you should be all set. If you do run into problems, please call any of the librarians at any one of the campuses and we can fix it for you over the phone. And then basically what will happen is that library gets notified that you want that book. It will be shipped to my campus library if that's the campus you chose. And then what we do is we give you a courtesy call to let you know that materials are in. Right? And of course I have to give a little plug. It's not just for co you know, you know, cover letters, resumes, any of your research materials, fiction books, children's books. We have music CDs, DVDs. If you want to catch up you know, on... Um, the stars show there, what is it, with the Outlander series that's starting tonight. You can certainly start watching that through the library. It's all for free. We also have what we created is we have libguides for you guys. I'm not sure if you're aware of these. Um, so here it is, subject guides. And these are for any one of your classes. So if you need help with databases or looking up for books in any one of your disciplines, we have that here. We also have what we, we created, a career research guide. So this is like one-stop shopping to not only for books that we have, our e-books, we have digitized books, um, streaming videos, the streaming videos on our database, Films on Demand, give you interview tips, that sort of thing. And here it is right here. So we have our tab top, it's that simple. Right, so we have websites about career exploration, um, I do have to say, um, where is it? The Occupational Outlook Handbook is probably one of those valuable websites you can use to explore what career path you might want to take. It will give you information about what the job growth is like, uh, how much an average salary would be, what type of education you'll need, and what kind of skills that you'll need. So that's a really good place to start if you're unsure where to go to, or you are sure where you want to go to, and you just want to make sure that it's going to be feasible for you to do that. These would be some of the books that we have. We also have a database that you can access. And everything I'm showing you, you can do anywhere you have Wi-Fi. Just be aware if you are off campus trying to get into any one of our databases, it will prompt you for that library barcode number, that 2277 number that's on the back of your card. And that's another great place to go look up what's uh, upcoming jobs coming up, uh, what's good in career growth. So that's a really good database tool to use. And then again, these are just all the books. So these are all the books that we have that I pulled out that are either New Bedford campus, 
Attleboro campus or Fall River campus. So between all the three libraries and all the entire books in the library sales library network, we should be able to get whatever materials that you need to help you with this process. This is a very popular book. I did bring it. That's probably one of the most successful, best-selling books, What Color Is Your Parachute, to get you ready for resumes, cover letters, interviews, that sort of thing. And then I just pulled together some web resources for you for job searching. So this is a cover letter tutorial. Um, I actually got this really fun video to watch because some of us are more visual learners. And this is a quick video on just interview skills that would help you. And the most importantly, if you're getting a job, you know, I mean, you obviously want to make money. As much as I love my job, I do appreciate my paycheck, right? <laughs> and so this is another good place of what to do, what not to do during salary negotiations, right? And then, again, just giving salary information. So when you go to that job interview, you want to kind of feel out what is the average salary that people in your field are making. You want to be as educated as possible, right? So you can use any one of these websites, too. Um, and just to go back to that career database I had, another piece of it is um, our business databases that we have. If you are working for a bigger company or a bigger corporation, you want to research about that company, about that corporation. Know who the chief executive officers are. Know how long that business has been around. Know what their primary commodities are. Because during the interview, it, it will show the interview team that you've taken the time to learn about their company. And in a job market that's tight right now, you want to do whatever it takes to make you stand apart from the rest of the interviews, interviews, right? And again, the most important link I can show you is our book, A Librarian. So a lot of times, I am the only librarian here during the day. And so if a student came in, maybe you needed help trying to get books for cover letters or resumes, or you needed to be put in the right direction for a database. Um, you can certainly pop in the library, but sometimes I'm not there. So this is a really great way to ensure that it's a one-on-one -on -one appointment between you and me. Uh, especially with you guys, your schedules are super busy. You know, you work, you go to school, you have families. So it's a pretty good thing to use that we meet at a point, pointed time and we sit down and I can help you get all your resources together. And not just for cover letters and resumes, if you have any kind of research that you need to do, especially I know with Professor Avedikian's class, you certainly do. So hopefully I'll be seeing more of you in the future. Is there any questions? So I'm just going to show you one more time. So from the main Bristol Community College webpage, you just want to click on My Library. Here you can search for books right here. We also have all those article tabs. These will be all our databases. This is our films on demand. This is what I was talking about. You could probably look up interview skills. And again, everything I'm showing you, you have access wherever you have Wi-Fi. So there you go. You have all these different, these are all streaming videos. We also have an instant chat. You can see on the right-hand side, there's actually a live librarian at the other end of it. So if you get stuck, you can't remember where that course guide was that I showed you, you can certainly text the librarian and then someone will get back to you immediately. And then this is just a way to contact us. We have librarians at all three campuses. It doesn't matter who you see. We are here to help all of you. Um, just because you come to the New Bedford campus doesn't mean you have to see me exclusively. So we've got all our phone numbers, the Book of Librarian there. So make sure you utilize us. We're a valuable resource for you here. And then under the course guides, oh, no, I'm sorry, wrong tab, subject guides, here's that career research tab. Okay. And so it's like one-stop shopping, soup to nuts, or anything that you might need. I even have the BCC Career Services link up there, so you can speak to someone live, too. So any questions before I, we move on? Great. You guys have been lovely. Thank you for having me and talking a little bit about what the library can do to support you here and helping you get the perfect job that you need after you graduate.
Thanks.